Dawson's been knocking in winning runs for more than a decade. Wherever he's played, he's made his team better. Today, he teaches his winning style of baseball, both at bat and in the outfield, to our little leaguers on Play Ball. Welcome to Play Ball with Reggie Jackson. Play Ball is brought to you by Kingsford Charcoal for equipment you can depend on. Kingsford Charcoal, what the pros use. Hello again, everybody. I'm Reggie Jackson, and welcome to Play Ball, the show that features fundamentals and fun, major leaguers and little leaguers. Andre Dawson was a National League Rookie of the Year in 1977 and Most Valuable Player in 1987 with 49 home runs and 137 RBIs. My very special guest today, number eight, from the Chicago Cubs, the Hawk, Andre Dawson. How you doing, buddy? Fine, and yourself? Eddie. Good to see you. Thanks for coming down. Well, it's my pleasure to be here. Andre, uh, you had played in Montreal for quite some time on the AstroTurf, but then you made the decision to move on to the Cubs. Any particular reason why? Well, I felt uh, in an effort to prolong my career, I had to get off of the AstroTurf. I felt that the natural surface was going to extend my career maybe another three, four, perhaps even five years. And I've always felt a lot stronger playing on grass. And uh, when I did make the change, uh, the difference was like night and day. And I just felt that I probably should have made that type of move a lot soon. What about our little leaguers? You ever played little league ball? I played little league ball. I played t-ball. I played core league ball. Uh, I played it all as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over and meet our guys from the little leagues. Sure, right? Reggie. Come on. Okay, Andre, we're going to talk a little bit about hitting. And uh, I want you to meet my little leaguers here. This is the East Scottsdale Little League and also the Little League from Phoenix. Guys, you know who this guy is? Yeah. What team do you play for? That's easy, because we can all read. I can see that. But tell me this. What number does he wear? Eight. Oh, pretty good, huh? Okay, today, guys, Andre Dawson is going to talk to you about what he did as a little leaguer to uh, sharpen his batting eye. Okay? All right, take it away, big guy. Okay, first of all, boys and girls, when I first started out, I had to develop confidence in my ability and not really be afraid of the ball. So I started off by playing t-ball, and I would work my hands using the batting tee, just swinging down through the ball to work my hand and eye coordination. I also, by using the batting tee, I would work on my stride. And one way to work on your stride by using the batting tee is to just softly approach the ball. When you use a batting tee, you don't really want to see how far you can hit the ball. But again, remember, you're working on your basics and the fundamentals of hitting your stride, your hands going back, and your approach to your swing. I also use a flip drill where I would make sure that I watched the ball to the bat. And again, I worked on my hand-eye coordination and my stride. Now, these drills I found very effective, and they helped me a lot when it came time for me to face live pitching because there's going to be a difference in seeing the ball come out of a pitcher's hand and just sitting there on a batting tee. The one thing to remember is when you step in the batter's box, have confidence in your ability to hit the ball, and don't be afraid to be hit by the ball, okay? Now, Andre has a drill that he did. We'll give him his tools of his trade here. I'm sure he knows what to do with that thing. He had a drill that he did when he was your age, and one of them was t-ball. The, the other one was flipping the ball to him and hitting it in the net here. So I'm going to flip him a few balls and watch some of the things that he works on. Then after he does those things, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, and you can tell me what you think he's doing, okay? All right. Okay? okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, look how quick his hands are there. And make sure that, watch how he's keeping his eye on the ball. See, he's not stumbling around with his body. Everything is in good line. And what are you doing to me there? <laughs> there you are. You see, everything is nice, solid, short, and quick. Okay? Watch the eyes. Watch the eyes. There you are. You see how they get big, and then all of a sudden he puts a bat right on the ball. There you are. That means he's watching the baseball. Okay? Nice short stride. His, he has his hands back. 
and when I flip the ball up, he keeps his eye on the baseball, and boom, he lays the, he lays the barrel of the bat right on the ball. Let's get a couple of you guys uh, to try it. Uh, who wants to come out of there first, Brett? All right, well, we got to get the Cubs guy out here first, don't we, Andre? That's for sure. Okay, now I'm sure that Andre's going to be rooting for you, okay? All right. Come nice on, and Brett. comfortable? Yeah. Okay, now let's, uh, for my benefit here, let's keep the ball into the net, all right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, hey, that's okay. a good swing. Good swing. Yeah. Eye on the ball, nice short stride, keep those hands back. Boy, you see anything there, Andre? Hey, that's a perfect swing. Keeps his head right in there. Nice, easy stride. Laid a bad head on the ball. Okay, let's get someone else. This guy's ready for the... You're ready for a move up, isn't he? Good follow-through. Okay, let's get another guy. How about David at the end there? Okay. Nice and comfortable. Okay, don't lock yourself in. Now, you, you look like you're uncomfortable. Okay, just relax a little bit more. Okay, now you keep your eye on the ball, all right? Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, step into it. You're not stepping into the ball. You're just using your hands and your body. Step into it with your front foot. Okay, here we go. Eye on the ball. Keep your eye on it. Keep your eye on it. Okay, not quite too hard now. Get your hands up. Okay. Relax your back elbow. Relax it a little bit. Okay, get your hands up. Relax that elbow. So you're locking yourself in right here. Just relax. Okay. Loosen up a little bit in the lower part of your body. boy. Just okay. nice and easy. Just get comfortable. The ball Feel comfortable. And put the bad head on the, on the baseball, okay? All right, ready? Okay, Dave. Okay. Hey, good that's swing. a lot better swing. Good, very good swing. Okay, now, Andre, you got a couple things you want to tell him, huh? Okay, first of all, you want to be as relaxed as possible when you're in the batter's box. Okay, you're a little bit too stiff. See, so loosen your hands and loosen the lower part of your body. Okay, feel as comfortable as you can and stride into the ball. On two occasions, you just use your hand and your body. You didn't stride at all. Okay, if you do make contact when you hit a ball, it'll be very hard for you to get it out of the infield. So practice just a short stride, keeping your eye on the ball as it approaches the plate, and use your hands. But you gotta loosen up a little bit. Okay, let's have Andre try one, then you do one after him, okay, David? All right, now watch Andre this time, then we're gonna have you come back in and do a good one, all right? See, I'm real loose, real loose with the lower part of my body. My hands are relaxed. Okay, I'm ready to hit. He keeps his eye right on the ball that's, that's and it's crisp. All right, all right, you try one more. Okay, okay, that a ready? Boy. All right. Hey, that's hey. a lot better swing. A lot better. We'll be back with more on Play Ball and Andre Dawson after these messages. I went down on one knee. So if the ball would take a bad hop, it would hit a certain part of my body and stay in front of me. This is sort of a warehouse of oversized long-distance phone bills. Over the next several months, I'll be analyzing the long-distance bills of small businesses all over America to prove just how much bigger they are than they should be. Travel agencies, accounting firms, moving companies, money managers, maybe a small business like yours will all come under our scrutiny. For instance, here's an interesting one. A Los Angeles law firm. In one month, it seems, they spent about $350 calling the 201 area code. Must have been a big case. Very impressive. What's not impressive is that their long distance company didn't give them an extra discount for those calls. And look, no account codes. A completely separate bill for their 800 calls and no way for business calls made from the partner's homes to be included on the office bill. My advice? These lawyers should get a new long distance company to represent them, like MCI. With MCI Preferred, the ingenious new long distance service for businesses that spend under $1,500 a month on long distance, office bills, calling card bills, 800 bills, home bills, are all on one bill. It's a lot easier to handle. And here's the true genius of MCI Preferred. You get an extra discount on the combined total, as well as an extra 10% discount on the area code you spend the most on each month. Which in the case of these lawyers, would be a yearly savings of about $2,000 over AT&T's best price services for them. That would pay their long distance bills for nearly a month and a half. MCI Preferred will solve just about all of your business long distance problems except one. It can't pick up the phone for you. That, you still have to do for yourself. Ah, 
Please forgive the cliché, but our operators are standing by. Uh, well, actually, uh, sitting by. Okay, guys, as you know, Andre is a super hitter. He's hit more than 40 home runs that one season in 1987, but he also has another outstanding skill besides running the bases. He is a super outfielder. That's one of the reasons I think they call him the Hawk as a fabulous fly chaser. Eight gold gloves in the major leagues. And I want him to talk to you today about catching a fly ball and also fielding a ground ball. Okay, but first of all, gang, remember, when you're playing the outfield, it's not a time to relax or go to sleep. You can't think about what am I going to do my next at bat or what's going to happen when the game is over. Outfielders have to always stay on their toes. Every ball that's hit in the outfielder, each guy is moving, whether you're backing up a base or you're telling the guy what to do with the ball. Okay, so we're going to talk about fielding the ground ball, charging the ball, bringing your body under control, and making sure you catch the ball first. Okay, we're gonna talk about this basically when there are nobody on base. And the reason being, so you feel the ball, get it back to the infield, and keep this base runner from advancing the base. Then we're gonna talk about catching fly balls, the proper way. Getting behind the ball, making sure that you catch the ball with two hands. Have the glove on your throwing hand side, and let your momentum bring you back toward the infield, so if you have to make a throw, you don't have to take an extra two or three steps, okay? Okay. One thing that Andre didn't talk to you guys about is he's naturally gifted with soft hands. He looks the ball all the way in his, into his glove, and he cradles it nice and comfortably and nice and easy. So let's remember that, okay? All right, we're going to try a few. Andre will go down there. I'll hit him a few balls, and we'll get some of our guys to try it as well, okay? All right, let's go. Okay. Ready? Yeah, huh? sure. All right. Anywhere out there you're comfortable with, Andre? Okay, first of all, guys, I'm gonna demonstrate the proper way to feel a ground ball. This is without runners on base. You wanna make sure you feel the ball or keep the ball in front of you. Do not let the ball get behind you. That way the runners do not advance an extra base. The proper way to feel a ground ball. Okay, Rich. See, my, my, my glove hand is right here. I wanna keep the ball in front of me. I went down on one knee so if the ball would take a bad hop, it would hit a certain part of my body and stay in front of me. Okay, I did not feel the ball here. I made sure I got down in front of the ball to keep it in front of me. Okay, very One important. One more time. Point. Very important point, guys. You see, he kept the ball in front of him, and he kept his eye on the ball and looked the ball all the way into his glove, okay? Right here. See, the ball at the very end was going to take a bad hop. I got my glove down. If it had taken a bad hop, it would have hit a certain part of my body. It stayed in front of me. Okay, guys, let's get a couple of our guys to try it. Okay, you want to go first, Jesse? Okay, Jesse, go out there with Andre. Okay, just a minute. We'll get some more guys. Get down, get ready. Okay, you ready? Okay, keep your eye on it. That's good. See, even though you missed the ball, the ball stayed in front of you because you had it blocked well. Okay? One more. Okay, let's watch it all the way into the glove this time. Give him a pointer there, Andre. One more shot. Okay, at the very end, when you're charging the ball, at the very end, you break down and get in front of it. Okay? But keep your eye on the ball. You want to make sure you catch it first. You will always catch it before you throw it. Ready, Jesse? Okay, good clean one, partner. Out of way, good job. <laughs> okay, Andre, you ready? Ready. Hit me a fly ball, Red. <laughs> you see the nice soft hands, guys, and you see him keeping his eye right on the ball all the time. Right here, see yeah. how I got behind the ball? I'm gonna get my momentum to take me back toward the infield. 
Okay, let's have a couple of our guys try that, and Andre will critique you. Okay? Okay, Ryan? Okay. Hustle out there now. Well, he'll do it again. Okay. Ready, sure Ryan? Catch him, Ryan. All right. Get down in your stance. Get ready. Okay, good okay, job. Another way to get behind you. See, you have both hands up on your throwing hand side. Okay, that's it. Bike, bike, bike. Okay, good job. Who's oh, next boy. in there? Ryan, you want to try? Okay. Hustle down out of boy, out of way. All righty. Okay, here we go. Good job. Nice going. Good job. Good arm, too. What do you think, Andre? Pretty good. Good job. Guy. Yeah. Okay, oops, that's my fault. A little practice on the ground ball. Out of way to get over there nice and cut job. it off. Get in front of it. Okay. Okay, nice okay. play. Okay, Andre, you got anything you want to talk to the kids about and maybe wrap this thing up here? Okay, kids, listen, remember, you want to always try and catch the ball with two hands, okay? Catch the ball in your throwing hand side. You don't want to bike pedal on the ball. And what I mean by bike pedaling is drifting. If the ball is hit over your head, you want to turn and run. Okay, you can get to the ball a lot quicker that way. But just like hitting, you got to practice, practice out here on defense. You got to take ground balls. You got to work on positioning your body back toward the infield. You got to work on your throwing. But remember one thing, you can't throw the ball until you catch it. Okay, we learned something today? Yes, yes sir. All right, guys, thanks a lot. We certainly appreciate your attention. We'll be back with more on Play Ball and the superstar of the Cubs, Andre Dawson. Here, tag up, and if you score before the guy throws the ball home, before the catcher can tag you out, bingo, you're safe. You've got a run scored for your team. Modern Office Systems urges you to take advantage through the month of April on low prices on IBM Wheel Riders. During our big sale, save 25% on typewriters with a classic touch. Wheel Rider 2, now $4.98. Wheel Rider 15, now $6.52.50. Wheel Rider 6, now $7.65. Wheel Rider 30, now $9.22.50. And the Wheel Rider 70, now $13.83.75. Come see the features, compare the prices. IBM Wheel Riders, 25% off, now through April only at Modern Office Systems. <laughs> he found the whole field thinks he's going to chop me down. But you watch ESPN Sports Center all this week. You're going to see who's going to do the chopping. <laughs> Welcome back to Play Ball. And on this particular segment, guys, we're going to talk about some of the little things in baseball that can make you a better baseball player. This particular time, we're going to talk about tagging up on a sacrifice fly so that you can score a run for your team. The important thing to remember is not to leave the bag too soon, okay? A lot of times when you're on third base as the runner, your hitter, your batter, hits a fly ball deep enough for you to be able to score with less than two outs. So the thing that you have to remember, or the thing that's most important, is that you tag up after the fielder catches the ball. When the ball gets in his mitt, you're then able to leave here, tag up, and if you score before the guy throws the ball home, before the catcher can tag you out, bingo, you're safe, you've got a run scored for your team, okay? And if you leave too soon, guys, then you're going to wind up being on these funnies that we're getting ready to watch. Let's take a look at some bloopers from some major leaguers that have made some mistakes. There's a long drive to deep left field. He has a chance or so like at the wall, and he makes a spectacular catch. <laughs>
Larry Carter's been an all-star ever since he put on his first Red Sox uniform in the West Fullerton Little League. Enthusiasm has always been his middle name. His drive and performance were key elements on his Pony League champions, coached by his dad, that came within one game of going to the Pony League World Series. By the time he reached high school, he was a multi-sports star. He was all league in football, getting more than 100 scholarship offers. And he could also handle himself on the hardwood, a three-letter man. But baseball was Gary's first love. He played only two and a half years in the minors before hitting the big show in 1975 and being named National League Rookie of the Year. Gary's offensive numbers are awesome for a catcher. He had 302 home runs and knocked in more than 1,100 runs coming into 1989. A 10-time All-Star, one of the great catchers in baseball history, the New York Mets' Gary Carter. Pickup game, skins and shirts. Come on, let's go! Ooh, skin. Shirts. Skin. Shirts. Skin. Definitely shirts. Definitely skins. If you're a shirt, take it off. Joe Weider's Muscle Builder gives you the powerful protein and extra energy you need to achieve your goals. So what are you, a skin or a shirt? Available at fine health food and sporting goods stores everywhere. I like what shampoo and conditioner do for my hair, but I love what Pert Plus does for me. Pert Plus is a unique shampoo and conditioner in one, so my hair turns out just the way I like it. Clean, conditioned, looking great, but without the bother of two bottles. Imagine, hair I like without the fuss. That's what Pert Plus does for me. If only everything in my life was so simple. Wash and go with Pert Plus. Also in dandruff control. Welcome back to Play Ball. Now I feel we have a special opportunity to ask some questions to Andre the Hawk Dawson, one of the players in baseball that I feel has the most talent of anyone playing in the game. Okay, guys, you ready to ask some questions to a super player here? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, um, how do you feel when you get up to bat? Well, I feel great. Uh, the one thing you got to remember is you got to have confidence when you go up there. Uh, you got to believe in yourself and just say to yourself, I'm going to hit this ball hard wherever it's pitched. So when I get up to the plate, I say to myself, throw me a strike. Give me something that I can handle, something that I can hit hard. Brian? What is it like to face a pitcher like Nolan Ryan? Well, Nolan Ryan was one of the toughest pitchers I think I've ever had to face in my career. Uh, the one thing about Nolan Ryan is uh, you're going to be in a battle every time you go up to the plate, and you can expect the challenge. Uh, I enjoyed uh, the confrontations that we had for the simple fact that he was a power pitcher, and I liked swinging at the fastball. Uh, whether I struck out, whether I popped up or grounded out, I enjoyed each at bat because of the challenge. Okay, who's next here, David? When you're on outfield, have you ever dropped the ball? Of course, I've taken my eyes off the ball to look at the runner at what I thought was a, a last split second, and I've had the ball pop out of my glove. And these are the things that you, uh, in the back of your mind, don't want to do. But depending on who the base runner is out there, sometimes you forget. You try and be a little bit too quick, and, and an instant like that can cause you to take your eye off the ball, and the ball may hit in your glove or you may miss it completely. But I've had uh, players like that who I thought would probably try and take an extra base or try to be a little bit too quick in getting rid of the ball. And if I don't drop it, I'll drop it out of my throwing hand. But the main thing is try to stay relaxed. And if you get behind the ball and you make a nice, good, easy delivery to the infield, you don't have those problems. Andre, I know you're expecting a baby at the, uh, this year sometime in August or September. If you have a son, would you want him to play Little League? I probably would, yes. I'd put him on uh, a little league uniform, and uh, I'd just watch him go from there. Uh, baseball, to me, is my life. It's the only thing I've ever wanted to do. Uh, and I feel very fortunate to uh, have been blessed with the talent and the ability and to get as far as I've gotten. I feel if uh, I have a little boy, I'll probably, I won't push baseball on him. I'll hopefully let him make his decision as to what he wants to do in life. But at a very early age, he will wear a baseball uniform. <laughs> Jesse? How did you get the nickname Hawk? That nickname was given to me by an uncle of mine who, at a very early age, said he liked the way I swung at his curveball. Now, I don't know if that was a good curveball or not. But he also liked the way I played defense in the outfield. 
He said I would call off everyone and try to catch everything that I could get to. Uh, if that's being a hawk, I don't know, but that's where his nickname came from. <laughs> Andre, you're a fabulous all-around player. Do you take special pride in doing everything to the level of being super on the field, run, hit, throw, hit for power, hit with average. Do you take special pride in that? Well, Reggie, I think when you're blessed with the talent or the ability to perform all phases of the game very well, you put a little bit more emphasis on each aspect and you go out and uh, you work, you work as hard as you can to try and stay on top of the game itself. And I take as much pride in uh, probably throwing a guy out at the plate or out at third base as I would hitting a home run uh, to win a ball game. I take as much pride hitting the ball over the first baseman head and seeing it roll around in the corner for a triple as I do hitting the ball out of the ballpark. I enjoy uh, running the bases. I think that you can uh, win a ball game several different ways, whether it be speed, defense, or up at the plate. And when you're blessed again with that talent and that ability, uh, you should go out every day and just practice each aspect as hard as you can to try and keep that little edge. Okay, guys, that's about all we have time for when it comes to asking questions of Andre. But we'll be back with more on Play Ball and Andre Dawson of the Chicago Cubs. Stay tuned. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation Arctic air is swooping in from the north. And a major snowstorm is sweeping the nation. Icebergs in California? <laughs> York peppermint patty. Get the sensation. When sports cream, when arms are sore, when legs ache, when muscles hurt. Why sports cream? Massaging sports cream in brings fast pain relief. No medicine smell. No odor. Why sports cream? Because it works. Why Top Rank Boxing on ESPN. The place where fighters have stepped into the ring as unknown, made the right connection, and emerged as champions. You're going to knock them out to win this, all right? Can anything stop the Selden Express? Undefeated Bruce Selden continues his climb up the heavyweight ladder against Oliver McCall. Top Rank Boxing, Thursday night at 9 Eastern, live on ESPN. Speedster Vince Coleman, now burning up the base paths for the Mets. Slugger Hubie Brooks, now providing the power. The new kids in town lead the Mets against the Pirates on ESPN Wednesday Night Baseball. You're watching ESPN, the total sports network. Okay, guys, we're about out of time. We've learned an awful lot today about outfield play, feeling a ground ball, catching a fly ball, and also about some practice on how to swing the bat, comfortable, relaxed, and put the barrel of the bat on the ball like Andre Dawson here at the Chicago Cubs. I want to thank my Scottsdale Little Leaguers and also my Phoenix Little Leaguers for coming out today and listening to the big guy, and I want to personally thank you with a five here. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Reggie, and it was my pleasure, and thank you guys for helping me out. Be with us next week when we have another Major League Superstar on Play Ball. Next week on Play Ball, Will Clark, the National League's runs batted in leader in 1988, will conduct a hitting clinic. The San Francisco Giant first baseman will also demonstrate some drills around the first base bat. Join us next week on Play Ball. Play Ball has been brought to you by Kingsford Charcoal. For equipment you can depend on. Kingsford Charcoals, what the pros use. What is Texas?